boom good morning ladies and gentlemen what a great day it is to be alive good morning from my home base in Capitan New Mexico where overnight we had a mix of snow and sleet and it's pretty and white outside all the rooftops are white and my trash can top Matilda her hair is all white with snow and sleet and what else? I mean, it wasn't much. It didn't accumulate much. Maybe a tenth, a quarter of an inch or something. But it's still doing it intermittently, so it's cool outside. Hey, Google, what's the temperature in Capitan, New Mexico? The temperature in Capitan right now is 31. Due to current wind conditions, it feels like it's 22. With a high of 56. Notice the voice change. I changed it to uh, uh, the English accent I guess you'd call it or, or yeah English I guess maybe Australian New Zealand whatever but yeah it's it's a uh, adds a little flavor I guess but anyway I'm still alive in my 2019 Casita 17 footer 84 square feet of interior space okay with me guys and I'm a long time full time RVer and inside the RV with the heater on low the the little electric heater on low which is a 400 or 500 watts on low uh, it is right now 68 degrees inside and according to that it's 31 degrees outside I think but anyway hey Google <clears throat> what's the temperature in Bangor Maine the temperature in Bangor right now is 47 with a high of 53 today is the first day of the rest of your life make it a good one it's the day after yesterday and the day before tomorrow today why is yesterday that way and tomorrow that way I have no clue it is here I don't know how it is at your place hey Google what's the temperature in Butte Montana the temperature in Butte right now is 13 degrees with a high of 32 hey Google what's the temperature in Fairbanks Alaska the temperature in <clears throat> Fairbanks right now is 36 with a high of 40 and hey Google what's the temperature in Kingsland Texas the current temperature in Kingsland is 43. Well, I have 63. That's my home base in Texas. Or I, I, I have a home base in Texas eight miles from that little town called Kingsland, one word. So anyway, let me introduce the guys up here and gals too. Uh, and why do I do this every day? It's a really simple answer, guys. I do what I do, you do what you do. And enough said about that. That's Trenton Clump, a smiling it. That is a teddy bear with my name on it. Popeye and Olive Oil from the old Popeye cartoons, Betty Boop from the 1930s, and Mr. Bill from the 1970s, and behind them is a sticker with a jalapeno on it that says Native Texan. That is a postcard somebody made for me, put my head on, on uh, the Easter Bunny, <clears throat> Brian G, I think. Anyway, that's a million dollar bill, a thousand yen note, a five euro note, a two dollar bill, a frugal RV gal sticker and a Deborah Dickinson sticker check their channels out on YouTube and also check out Dennis 78382 he lives in a truck with a camper top near Corpus Christi Texas and he would appreciate it <clears throat> and those that is Mr. Bo Jangles here dance watch do, 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 do. Get your hand off her foot, old pop I'll get you. <clears throat> anyway, those are bananas. They're okay. That is Miss. Uh, that is olive oil's bra. That is a smiling face with nose, ear, and hair that I added. And that is a sticker that says life is better than a casita. And now we will get to the point of all of this video in just a second. Hey, Google, tell us a worm joke. <clears throat> Sorry, I don't know how to help with that. Here are other things you can try. What do you call someone who points out the obvious? Someone who points out the obvious. The voice changed, but the quality of the, of the joke stayed exactly the same. Poor. <laughs> anyway, but that's okay. It's, uh, it's light humor. This is Charles Brown, Bounds, B-O-W-N-D-S, Bounds. Wahoo, have a Coleman on me. That was on the finished patio. Thank you, Beer 30 patio, I might add. Rebecca Nostront. <clears throat> I missed the name of your bike. How did you miss it? I don't know. Can you send me the info or company name? My husband, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, here we go. I have a 
Liberty Electric Trike from electrictrike.com. Use the code RUSTY50 and they'll give you a $50 discount. <clears throat> anyway, this is EECC. <clears throat> I found Rusty's lot in Capitan. I just love passing through New Mexico, but Google Earth helps me feel like I can travel while being stuck inside right now. Check it out. <clears throat> 33, what is it? 33 minutes, whatever it is, north and 34 south, whatever. Anyway, thank you, EECC. And now, the professional bowler from Wisconsin, Scotty Thompson, says, Happy Easter, Rusty. Thank you. Marsha Mapes, take care. Okay, that was on a video I did camping in my truck. Boy, howdy, that was tough. <laughs> Not a great thing for me. NM Sand Dune Man, okay. Rusty, your Capitan videos reminded me of a, spe of a special person that used to live there. Her name is Carrie Coates, and she lived there many years. She was known for the dulcimer she made and played. She passed away in 2014. She was a really special lady, and I have many fond memories of her. Thank you, New Mexico Sand Man. Dune Man. Sand Dune Man. Quita Brady. Or Weta Brady. That is such a clever idea to have lots in New Mexico. That looks like a wonderful place. It is for me. I like it. Kelly Thorne will work for beer. Uh, <laughs> he, uh, you know, uh, Rocky doesn't drink, or very little. Anyway, Phil Kapling looks great, Rusty. Great plan and layout. Yeah, it just, it just worked out. That's all I can tell you. It all worked out. I sat out there yesterday. It was a little cool and windy. That's why I didn't do a Beer 30 video. And as far as doing one today, I, I kind of doubt it. Because it's going to be a little cool. When, it, when we get a nice day, I'll, I'll uh, uh, launch the uh, Beer 30 patio. Anyway, Valerie Rachel. Rusty, won't you have to drive over your new patio with the truck to get your casita in place? You've got a great setup. No, not the way we've got it set up now. The original plan, I would have, yes. But the, the way it ended up, I won't. Brush bum on, on the patio looks great. Getting the clothesline out really helped in many ways. Take care. Not only did I get the clothesline out, line out, but my neighbors who acquired this lot adjacent to me or next to me, uh, yesterday, they cut down all the trees along the fence, and they're building their own fence, a privacy fence. And is that good? Yeah, it opens up the whole sky that way, you know. And if I, you know, I know the pine trees y'all think are great, but if I had the money, uh, I'd have those taken out. I'd have all the trees around my lot taken out. Why? Not because I hate trees, but because it just obscures the beautiful night sky and the, the view. You know, and I'm into views. You know me. But anyway, thank you. Uh, let's see. Yeah, brush bum, thank you. Uh, Phil Kapling on the on the how not to build a concrete patio says, I think your plan for your adobe brook bricks is a good one. Once completed, I think it will look great. One idea for the rest of the lot, have it raked or tilled and then put down a sealer, then put down a fine stone, sod the rest. That and the fences being built are updated and Viola, really neat looking lot with minimal maintenance travel travel safe thank you phil yeah i've got a few little projects i'm going to do but what i'm going to do since they're building a fence there <clears throat> and the guy over on part of the se one section over that way has a a privacy fence i'm going to use some of those boards and patch the hole in the fence over here i'm going to get some two befores today and i'm also going to put some of that it's called uh, uh rocky told me to get some it's called play sand it's a real fine sand and put it on those bricks and sweep it around in the cracks and stuff. I've already swept that concrete stuff into the cracks and, and watered it. And yeah, it, none of them, they don't move now. Uh, uh, Ken o, Ken, K E N O V L V R Canover, I guess. Uh, looks great, Rusty. Plant a few bushes and a couple of ornamental trees to soften up the landscape and you'll be set. No, I'm not planting anything, but thank you. Uh, California Golden Bear. Try not being alive and see what happens. He says R O T F L M A O, whatever that means. <clears throat> Thank you, California Golden Bear. This is K A. Rusty, thanks for the views of Capitan. That's when I triked Capitan, and we'll do that again. We always knew there was more 
there was more than your home base lot and the storage facility across the street and your electric bike is a great way to go around the town. You're definitely at ease at home base. Keep smiling, Sir Keith. Thank you, Keith. <clears throat> this is Min, M-E-N-C-K-E-N-C-Y, so that's Min, Chick, Min, Sick, and Cynic, I guess. Uh, if only we had taken his advice. Made in China. <clears throat> yeah, 100 years ago. <clears throat> Scott Cochran. Oh, man. Funny AF. Oh, that was the Texas old man I, I did. Just a long old, that's an old one. I'm going back to learn about your life. Awesome, man. Thank you. Yeah, watch the old videos. I've got a, uh, uh, several playlists. One's about growing up in Texas. One's about my Peace Corps experience in Mong Mongolia and yeah, just check them out and watch them. Yeah, you, the first video I did was in like September, October. Oh, wait a minute. August or September 2011. That's a good one. <clears throat> and the one I did about landing on Mars. And another one about I found out I was black. <clears throat> this is Kathy Fan. Wonderful. Everyone needs a winter summer hangout. Well, this one turned out to be more of a winter hangout. <laughs> I mean, it's cold out there now. Uh, John Pre. Precaito, no peanuts for Cody. Let him walk to Home Depot. <laughs> no peanuts. Yeah, Cody had a little problem laying those bricks, but he's cool. He's a nice guy. <clears throat> he did help. Cindy B on the patio. Nice. Thank you. Richard Harrison on retiring and moving to another country. That was a long video I did. He says, are you kidding me? Why would I want to leave the U.S.? Well, I, I wasn't telling you to leave the U.S. In fact, I was telling you just the opposite. You know, don't leave the U.S. You know, you, you, when you go to a foreign country, uh, <clears throat> uh, then, uh, you know, you, you got to start all over again. You know, I mean, uh, it's, it's, it's difficult. This is Mike Howard on the Rattlesnake. at uh, That was at uh, Valley of Fires, not too far from here, BLM campground. Mike Howard, <clears throat> I vote with the majority, dispatch that booger. And keep your eyes peeled for any others. Oh, okay. No, I wouldn't hurt that thing. <clears throat> Marsha Mapes. Happy Easter to you and Rocky. Great job. Very nice. Take care. Bob, thank you. Marsha. Bob Goodwin. Way to go, Rocky. The Rusty Ranger. Boy, he definitely is, isn't he? Cameron Crazy says, throw seeds or plant some Bermuda grass around in the pavers and it will grow nicely throughout the cracks cool stuff uh, yeah okay whatever uh, my venus healer what a fantastically good man he just earned twenty-five thousand credits to get into heaven yeah good okay here you go dorian christie hey you don't need a demanding garden to tend just move a cactus or two into in a sunny spot next to the patio uh, a few of those tiles around for less weeding. New Mexico thorny buddy. Uh, anyway, I don't know, man. I, I'm not going to plan anything because uh, you know if you want, if you're going to, it's kind of like having a pet in a way. You know, if you plant something, you need to take care of it, and I'm not going to do that, so I'm not going to do it. Mickey Davis, hey Google, uh, uh oh, how do you make a beer thirty patio? Here are some pictures that match. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Actually, had some patios. But anyway, it says good. It says, it says get rocky. Uh, Dory and Christy, hooray, rocky, perfect patio, and one beautiful day to see it done. Amigos, nothing but blue skies. Well, thank you, Dory and Christy. It was a very nice day yesterday. I did sit out for a while, but it was a little windy. And uh, we get those days here this time of the year. <clears throat> but next week, in about uh five days will be in the 70s and the upper 40s for real and for some reason the temperature on the google home device in my phone is much more accurate i don't know if somebody made some changes or something but it is it's, it was spot on this morning and yesterday linda butler <clears throat> it says now if a passing angel would drop off one of those mexican type stone cookers no i don't i don't cook outside so i don't need it but i appreciate the thought uh, it says basil, basil, grate in water and lemon to drink. Uh, she likes mint tea and stuff. But anyway, thank you, Linda Butler. Nice comment. 
Barry Olson, hope he gets a beer after all that. He doesn't drink beer, uh, rarely. Uh, no, I took care of, I've took care of Rocky, okay? Don't worry about that, guys. Gary Jacobs, not bricks, called pavers, okay? Well, then pavers, they're patio pavers, but I call them bricks or rocks or whatever I want to. Mark Sr., Rocky is the man. He deserves the first beer on your patio. He deserves it, but since he doesn't drink, I drank it for him. <clears throat> Linda Butler, you have lots of stones left to do more. Maybe larger patio. Well, actually, my neighbor behind me over here, I was talking to them, and, and she said that she liked those pavers. And I said, well, you know, I got 55 left. If you want them, I'll make you a deal. You know, I, I might keep a few for I don't know what I need them for. But anyway, uh, it says, yeah, it says maybe a, lad, a larger patio or a base for future shed. Yeah, you know, it's, it could be. I could use them for a lot of things. They're, they're there, that's all. Uh, Jimmy and Kathy Harrell, Rusty, uh, Rocky rocks. Rocky rocks, he does. He definitely does rock. Uh, he's a truck driver, though. He's not a professional landscaper. He just did this because he can. NB, good morning, Rusty, and happy Easter. Uh, da, 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 da. Have a safe and stay home. Thank you, NB. <clears throat> Sherry Rees, Rusty, I love your channel, but please, I have to make an observation. Keep your hair cut neatly and by a professional. There are no barber shops open now. I was shocked to see you in bank. Sherry, hey, Sherry, listen up now, honey. You do what you do, I do what I do. If I want to put, grow my, flow, comb my hair straight down or straight up or sideways, I, that's what I do. What you do is different. Thank you for your comment. Uh, Walter Pendleton, have fun. I will, I'm trying to. Dennis M, success. Man, you are living the life. Rusty is really hard working man. Or excuse me, Rocky. I keep, every time I see that R, I say my name. Rocky is really a hardworking man, and it is a real blessing to have him. It is. It is a real pleasure to have to know somebody like that. Little T08, where did you meet Rocky? I never met him. He just drove up here. He, he watched some of my videos, and uh, boom, he showed up with a pickup loaded with uh, equipment and uh, sand or gravel and stuff, and away he went. Yeah, because uh, the first guy that showed up, uh, I just said, you know, I'll go ahead, I'll do it, thank you for your offer, and we talked a while, and that was the end of that. But here, this guy shows up loaded for bear, what was I going to say, man? <clears throat> so, but be that as it may, Richard Harrison, well, that's good, Richard Harrison's commenting on here. Great progress, we all need friends like Rocky, for sure. Faye Shampoo, or, yeah, Shampoo, it's looking good, Rusty, you got so much done over the last week, happy Easter Bunny. Thanks. Thank you very much. Yeah, I got that done. I'm going to slow down now. I mean, the fence over here, I may get some boards and finish that out in the next few days. I'll do that myself. <clears throat> Rocky said he'd do it, but it's not a big enough job to warrant him driving three hours or two and a half hours one way up here and two and a half hours back and probably having to stay in a motel room and all of that. So I'll just do that myself and any other projects. <clears throat> as far as the entrance, you know, that he wanted to do the fence there. Uh, we'll forget that <clears throat> for this year <clears throat> because I do need those wide openings to get in and out in the uh, RV easily and he was thinking about putting in another post and stuff but anyway no we're, we're good the way it is Rocky if you watch this so yeah <clears throat> just keep that in mind and the last one is Angie Thomas it looks great the idea that spurred others to have ideas your patio the kindness of others a handshake, friends, satisfaction, and accomplishment. Sometimes we all need the idea to motivate us. Thank you, Rusty and Rocky Rangers. Uh, one more topic. Thomas Parker, you have found a good man. man. Keep him and treat him right. I did. I will. <clears throat> no problem with that. But anyway, hey, Google, tell us an elephant joke. An elephant walked into a bar. It took six to eight weeks for the city to repair the bar. With that in mind, ladies and gentlemen, you know, be, be careful what you ask for, right? Because you might get it. But anyway, yeah, I'm going to go over, but, but I'm going to wait a while. I mean, let, make sure the temperature is well above freezing because I don't want to hit a icy patch on the road going to Ruidoso and end up in the in the boonies. I'll wait till about 10 or so, and then I may drive over to 
Ruidoso. I'll do a driving video on the way and talk about something. And uh, yeah, we'll just keep her going here, you know, one day at a time. How to eat an elephant, one bite at a time. But anyway, guys, from Capitan, New Mexico, on a cold morning, about 31 degrees, I think. Thumbs up. Carpe diem. Adios. Bye bye. Buy anything you want, anytime. But if you think about it, use the link to Amazon products in the description of all of my videos. Uh, and what you do, you just click on the link, go to Amazon, and if there's not the page it takes you to, if there's nothing there you want, then just go anywhere you want to. And during that shopping session, if you buy anything, then I get a small commission. It's pennies, but times hundreds equals dollars. <clears throat> and it does help a little bit. And then for those of you that use the uh, uh, PayPal thing, uh, thank you very much. Uh, yeah, that, that's direct. You know, some people in the past and, and currently too have asked me to set up a Patreon account. Well, the difficulty of Patreon for me is twofold. One is they charge a commission. I don't like that. And uh, the, uh, uh, also, it's a monthly thing like PBS, you know, where you pledge. Well, I, I, you know, I, I want to be totally in control of these videos. And I don't want to be obligated because, oh, man, I got all these Patreon people out there. You know, they may not like this or they want me to do this. You know, whatever. You know what I mean. So, yeah, I'm just, just use a PayPal. The PayPal account is the same as my email address. Uh, it's Rusty78609 at Yahoo.com. So it's easy to remember. And if you choose to do it on a regular basis, that's great. If you want to use it once, that's fine. If you never want to use it, that's fine, too. But anyway, drink plenty of water. Three or four quarts a day won't hurt you. It's good for you. It'll help you avoid gout, kidney stones, and it'll also help you lose weight because you'll be full of water. You know what I mean? And the only way to really lose weight is what? Eat less. How about that? And then what else? Uh, do, 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 do. Take deep breaths. Breathe in deeply through your mouth or your nose and hold it for a few seconds and then breathe out slowly. Why? What does that do? That lowers stress, which lowers your blood pressure. Great may get you off your blood pressure meds. And so what else? Uh, stretch, 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 swivel, 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 walk, 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 pedal, 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 exercise your body once or twice a day. You will never regret it. You'll feel better <clears throat> and you may live longer, healthier. You know what I mean? Or healthier, longer or something. But anyway, what else? Stand guard at the door of your mind. Do not let negative Nancy or negative Ned get inside of your head. This is your head, your brain, your frontal lobes, your consciousness. So, you know, don't let people or the news media just bombard you with negativity. Turn it off, walk away. You know what I mean? So with that in mind, accentuate the positive, eliminate the negative, live your life one moment or one day at a time, and enjoy it the best you can. At ease, carry on. Adios, amigos. Until next time, I'll do something today. I'm not sure what, <clears throat> but I will. I promise you that. So bye-bye from Capitan on a cold day with a little mix of sleet and snow right now. It's about 7, 10 a.m., and I'll start this video up shortly. It should be up around 8 or a little after, I hope. Adios, amigos. Bye-bye.